All right, so on the last example, one thing I did forget on, a, on, a, an, on C was to go ahead and graph it out so that it had the end of um, the the end of notations, but the the we call it, infinities on both sides, a positive negative infinity. So make sure on that last example that we had there, so this one here, make sure we put the positive negative infinities there. Oops, right here. So C, make sure we put positive negative infinities there. It's important. So now on this next part, example two, we're now going to go ahead and start changing these inequalities to interval notation. But the way to make it as easy as possible to change it from um, interval no from inequalities to interval notation is by graphing it out first and then going from there. And so with this, I'm going to go ahead and start with A. And we're going to say X is going to be greater than negative 4. And again, X is on the left side. So when we graph this out, I'm going to go ahead and graph it right here. When we graph it out, we have a negative 4 right there in that spot. And X is greater than negative 4. So it means we're going to be bigger, 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 bigger than negative 4. So all these numbers are bigger than negative 4. And then again, we have just a parenthesis because it's going to be just a greater than sign, not an equal to. And we're going to cup around the shaded part. So it goes there. And the only other part is we put our infinities there. Now, if you notice, whenever we do our infinities, there's no brackets or parentheses on the graph itself. Only when we put on the numbers. So when we graph it out, make sure you never, 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 because this happens every semester, make sure that you never put a parenthesis on the infinity. Never, 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 ever, 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 ever on the graph. On the graph. All right, so when we now changing this from inter, from the graph to interval notation, that's going to be like the very easiest thing. So here we're going to look from left to right, left to right. Let me write this down. So we look from left to right. And see where the graph starts and stops. And the shaded part. And see where the shaded part starts and stops. All right, so with that, if you look at it, if you go from left to right, there's nothing over here on this side at all until we get to negative 4. So we write down negative 4 here. And then it goes all the way until we get to the very last number, and that's infinity. So it starts at negative 4, it goes to infinity, and all we do is put a comma between them on the graph. Negative 4 has parentheses. And for this part, when we do our interval notation only, infinities, positive or negative, infinity, always uses a parenthesis. So, here for interval notation part, we put a parenthesis right there for infinity every single time, whether it's positive or negative, it's always infinity. There's always parenthesis on infinity. On the graph again, we do not put a parenthesis up here, only do it when it comes to the interval notation part. Okay, so let's go to B. And I know we can start flying through this a little bit more. That was the beginning part, so you can finally see what's going on, all the good stuff. All right, so here for B, we go ahead and graph it out again. We know we put two here. We know we can shade it to the left because it's less than or equal to two. And again, because there's an equal to sign there, we know we're using a bracket and it cups around the shaded part, cups around the shaded part, cups around the shaded part. We put our infinities here, negative and positive. And then again, 
look from left to right and see where the shaded parts starts or the shaded part starts and stops so again here it starts at negative infinity so you look at it here's I'll go now over here to negative infinity and it stops at 2 so negative infinity comma 2 we have a bracket right here on 2 and always infinite as um, parenthesis on the infinity. Always parenthesis on infinity. And again, up here on the shaded part, there's no parenthesis up here on the infinity part because it goes on forever. But we put on a number. So parenthesis only comes when it comes to interval notation only. All right, so let's go to C. And just to throw another one up here just to do it. Make sure we have it and we understand what's going on. So we shaded it. We graph it out again. Put 5 in the middle. So 5 is less than, uh, x less than 5. Again, so since it's less than, we shade this direction. And then at this point, we go ahead and do a parenthesis because it doesn't have an equal to sign. Put our infinities there. And we go from left to right to see where the shaded part is. So it starts at negative infinity. And it goes all the way to 5. So print print C on 5 because it's there. And always print C on infinity. Bam. All right, and then here's the last one, D. We're going to graph this one out again. And we know how to graph it because we just did one of these. So we have 2, we have 6. And again, where is X? It's between the two numbers, so we shade between the two numbers. So x is between the two numbers, so we shade between them. And we know here we have a bracket. Here we have parentheses because it's equal to and just regular. So put a bracket right here to cup around that shaded part. And a parentheses right here to cup around that shaded part. And don't forget again, the infinities. And this one, I think, is easier to do interval notation than any of the other ones. Because it starts here at 2, it ends there at 6. So when we do our interval notation, we put 2, we put 6, starts at 2, ends at 6. 2 has a bracket, 6 has a parenthesis, and we is done. That's it. So I think the last one's easier for me. Just put the 2, put where it starts, where it stops, put them down, and we go ahead and put down the bracket or parenthesis that match up with it. And that's it. Simple to easy as pi. And here's your practice now. You're going to work on the next part, which is your practice.